Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. My name is Obindako. Uh, today is the uh, yeah, 3rd of October 2018. Uh, welcome. Welcome. I want to share uh, with you. We've been trained uh, for jobs. We've been trained for jobs. We've been trained to look for jobs. We've been trained to appreciate jobs. We've been trained to be mesmerized. In big English word. Um, and infatuated jobs. We are obsessed jobs especially in Ghana if they sent you to school and you come back <laughs> the only thing that you think for or you think of is jobs only looking for job if you don't get one you're a disaster so people are looking for job from the government government job, there are a lot of them. And then people are looking for jobs from what they call multinational big companies like Talo, you know, the banks, big banks in Ghana, uh, mining companies, you know, that's how we've been conditioned. And then those who are looking to work with small, medium level companies, you know, and then those who didn't go to anywhere, we are the traders in the market. And a lot of us are farmers, plantain, cocoa yam, cassava, you know, things like that. Trotro drivers, taxi drivers, We've been trained to look for jobs. And, and we act, majority of us act as if uh, this country or this continent has gone through a level, some level of industrialization you know some level of industrialization so it's like there were people before us who created these jobs and we just find ourselves to be looking for them you go to our colleges when they are being trained it's all go and look for job you go anywhere as a matter of fact when you are choosing the jobs from those when you're choosing those courses from the schools what do we look for Courses that we will get job readily. I think it would be a good idea, not a bad idea, if we were uh, an industrialized, developed country. No problem. But it's a bit deceptive for us to have a country which, no, the country does not have many factories, many industries, and yet we still continue to tell the people, the young people, the young men and women, to be so much happy, to be so much conditioned to look for a job. I think there is a problem. There's a problem because we have not industrialized. We have not gone through that. Majority of us, majority, if you look at the fundamentals of our economy, it's really agriculture, you know, agricultural economy, mainly, and trading, importing and trading, small scale what they call small scale and what they call informal sector kind of and so the people that we are sending to all these schools that are coming out and 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 telling them that go and look for a job there's a problem there's a problem now the thing is how do you even get this lecturer <laughs> in, the, in the university to tell or to teach these young people how to create jobs themselves. How? Because he himself didn't know. That's why you want to find a job as a teacher. Now we are expecting them to come and train this. It's going to be difficult. But that's not even the, 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 the main challenge. The main challenge is the boys and the girls coming out and, and, and tagging themselves. Sometimes, you know, I remember when you were young, you know, right after national service, somebody will meet you and ask you, Dad, where are you working? It was never a thought, hardly, to anybody to ever think that 
you can you know go through this kind of education finish and say that i want to do something it was never on the table for discussion it was you are not getting employment you know it's either you're employed or you don't have a job that's all i remember um where we used to stay <laughs> the landlord will think oh, these guys are always in the house they are not doing anything you know you should be going to look for job <laughs> Uh, and for him, if you were in the house thinking, planning, structuring, and looking at what you can do, it means you were lazy. Because that's all that he knows, or that's all that he knew. And for him, if you went to school, you could not go to Asafo Market to sell, or you could not go to Swami Magazine to trade. For them, if you came out of school, you must have a very decent job with a car, with a house, maybe with a, uh, with a house head. And so most people, that's the kind of framework that we have. Now, if you even look at the people who travel from here to other countries, you only go to look for jobs. You know, you go there and say, well, when you are doing it, I'm yes, so you're in condition. You don't even go there to think like, okay, can I can I set up a, a company? No. Maybe a, a mobile company, a technology company, or agricultural company, any company. No, it doesn't come up at all. The pool of people that you are you are pushed into, they cannot think that you want to start a company. How? If you if you are move to America and you live with Ghanaians, how can you think of starting a company? How? Or if you go to England, you want to start a company. Which kind of company? Maybe door to door, that's all. Opening a company. Not bad. It's a good step. But the kind of companies that run those kind of economies, you know, it can't cross our mind. Because you've been trained to to hold in high esteem jobs. What I call welfare success. Welfare success is the kind of lifestyle that most of these directors, politicians, people who have certain jobs and they come with a lot of you know attachments, additions. They come with a car, they come with a big salary, you know, whenever they go for a meeting, they get they take money, their children can go to school, every year they change the the, 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 the chair in their room free clothes uh, clothing allowance all those kind of things that the kind of people who came before that's what they're used to after all when they were in the university during their time they were given free food and free education <laughs> so to them everything is free so they have not temp attempted to even change that and so we have come to meet it and we hold those things dearly and there is a problem the problem is that it's not sustainable and therefore there should be another way that people will look at this kind of argument that we continue to put across and 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 for us to even develop and train a whole generation that can think differently from what our parents or our grandparents thought particularly with those who we sent to school and um, if you didn't go to school, then you may not even have a problem, you know. You just have to find a way. But if you went, nobody expects you to do anything but to go and look for a job. So, you know, once you finish the national service, you're looking for uh, to write CV. And yeah, you'll be sending it to people looking for a job. <laughs> looking for a job. There is a little understanding of the structure of the economy anyway. You do understand it. So, you can look for a job for, for five years, ten years, especially with the kind of jobs that people look for. You can look for them five years and you never find them. Because when the job opening is there, he's looking for his cousin to give him to, to give the job to. You know, the kind of structure that we run, it's more of me and family. So if I'm at any place, I'm looking at how can my brother also get this job? my sister get this job 
And so if you come from a place where nobody is introducing you, you see how most of these guys will even go to GS fight to be posted to a village to teach in a primary school. Sometimes with an MBA, sometimes with a first degree. Because that's all that he's been trained with. Been trained with. He doesn't know any other. He cannot even think of, can I start anything? It's almost impossible. Majority of our people like that. See, the problem is the problem is the content. The content that is coming to us from the media. The content that is coming to us from the culture. The content that is coming to us from the school. You can't do much if you don't you know, if you have not developed this content. You can't do much if you have if you don't have the content to withstand and to keep pushing and to disagree with what you came to meet. You see the kind of things that we hold dearly. The other time they said that somebody was a plane something something driver or so, you know, pilot, <laughs> and then the, the whole school went to the airport to go and meet him because he's a driver of an aircraft. And for most people, that's a great achievement because that's what we see. I was thinking he owned the airline, airline you know, <laughs> he was the owner of the, of the company. This was not an airline from Ghana. It was a great airline coming to Ghana. And people were very, because for us, if you get a job, it's a great achievement. So if you continue to think like this, you cannot take charge of our destiny. As a country, as a continent, we will, we will continue to be followers. We will continue to be servants, even on our own land, because we think like we think only in terms of jobs. How many Chinese do you see come here looking for jobs? Wherever they go, they're looking for business. <laughs> it could be crooks, they could be criminals, but they're looking for business. They're looking for problem to solve. They're looking. That's how they've been trained. That's how they think. If they move from their country, maybe in their country they'll be looking for jobs. Maybe, I don't know. But when they move, they move to Europe. They move to Africa. They move to America. Once they move, they're looking. What can I create? They're not looking for monthly salary. They're not conditioning themselves like that. But the African, when he moves, especially the Kenyan, when he moves, looking for a job and if you go to meet them and you even want to try something it's almost impossible you can't even try it you can't why because that's not in us it is not we've been trained to be very much comfortable and we don't like pain I'm just trying to tell you what we ha has been put in us and once you are able to identify what has been put in you then you may be able to understand the frustrations that come and maybe how you can deal with it. You know, so you're a young guy, just engineering student. You completed, you are there. Can you start a business? Can you develop a product? Can you develop a service? No. It's almost, we don't even think out of the conventions. We always that's what, that's what people respect. That's the, that's the fact. That's what people respect. There's a lot of respect that comes with holding a position that is known. Somebody can say that my son is a director, is a bank manager somewhere. That is so much dear to our family. It is dear to our parents, dear to our friends, dear to your pastor. <laughs> Somebody wanted to start a business and... Uh, my pastor said that if you can't, don't go and start a business. Or go and continue to work. Because you see that woman there, the kind of pay they pay her is nowhere close to business. So those are the things. The people that we hold dearly who have come, that we think are more successful, they were trained to hold jobs dearly. And the thing about you opting against this kind of thinking and this kind of practice is that you went, you would have to enjoy a lot if, if your friend, if you and your brother you complete school and you say that after national service, I want to start a business. And your brother says that I want to look for a job and he gets one. 
the respect for you, you that you said that you want to start a business, the respect will not be there. For the next 10 years, nobody will respect you. Why? Because you're going to go through a lot. If you, if you ever succeed at all, if you succeed at all, you're going to go through a lot to get to a stage where the business will work. Now you're eventually going to be begging, asking, pleading, beg for business, beg for fans, beg for connections. Sometimes, if your rent will be trouble. If you're single, maybe it's a good thing. But if you're not single, that's double trouble. And, and, and society will not hold that kind of respect. And so if the societal respect is so much uh, important to you, this tip will not run with you. So you were trained just to look for a job because that's what society supports. I'm not, I'm not really talking to people who are much infatuated with job. That's their choice. The only thing is that they only look, live for themselves and they live for monthly salary. And they want to build a house and stay in, and that's all that they want to do with their lives. That's fine. At the same time, these are the people who are complaining that our country is not developing. Nothing is going to change it until the citizens take charge. No free market grows until people from that country create job opportunities, create products, business, businesses. That's what changes. It's a free market. The government is not a socialist country. It's not a communist. This one they say is a free market. I don't know if it's true, but it means that you have to produce a lot of people who are create competition in the market, who are creating jobs. Now, the, the, the problem is that most of these people that we have brought up are only looking for jobs. They're waiting for somebody to give them a job, right? And applications everywhere. And if you don't if you don't have a job, you have no respect. If you want to commit to develop a business, an idea, nobody respects you. People will talk you out because what attracts us, what we respect so much, is what? This job. This job. You know, so that's the challenge that we have. And if they are sacked from their job, uh, that's like in the world coming to an end. <laughs> it's a disaster. If they lose their job, eh, they can't sleep. Why? Because that is the whole tip that they run. So how can I live without a job? How? The marriage may even break. The friends will not even come to you again. The friends that were with you when you had that job, that you had the car, you had the car, you were driving everywhere, they were calling you manager, manager, director, director. All your friends that you're doing the party with, you know, they were coming to your house, they thought that you were successful. The moment you, lo you lose that job, the friends automatically think that you have come to zero. And therefore, you have nothing that they really respect because what they respect is what is the job. What they respect is the job. There has to be a shift. There, have to be, there has to be a big shift in terms of thinking. Not for the old people. We don't know whether they'll be able to change. But for the young ones coming, they have to have a shift and to have a frame of thinking that can compete with everybody else around the globe, not just here. You cannot just be waiting for a job. Who should go and create a job? Who? Who? Who is gifted? Who? Does anybody have it in their DNA? And another person did not have it. Who? Should go and create a job. Nothing wrong if somebody has a job, but the, the affection the respect for those with jobs, those of us who don't have jobs, the disdain is very high. The disdain is very high. And so my name, my name is Obina Akon. I'm talking about you were trained. Or we have been trained for jobs. We have been trained. So you see a doctor, once he completes, he's waiting for the government to employ him. If, if the IMF plays an embargo. They place an embargo somewhere to say that you cannot employ doctors, ah, they, will, they will stay at home and cry. You cannot even go and try any other thing because it was trained to become a doctor. If I was trained to become a lawyer and I don't have a job, 
nothing crosses. People are not resourceful. People are not even creative. Because I was trained to become an engineer, that's it. It's engineering job that I'm looking for. I cannot do anything. Somebody will even laugh at you. Ah, you went to do engineering and now you are selling what? <laughs> See, the ignorant is that is that bold. I remember there was a time I met a teacher of ours. Saying that. So what do you do? I said, oh, we are trying to see if you can build a business. He said, ah, but what course did you do? I said, I did, I did, I did. I said, oh, yeah, 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 but it's because there is no job. It's always okay. You know, you see, he's thinking. And those people that we hold in big positions, that's the kind of thinking they have. They cannot see that, okay, you did pharmacy. Now you say that you want to do something. It may not even be the pharmacy area. You just want to do something to create a business. For majority of our people, the course is their life. The subject that they read is their life. They cannot see themselves doing anything outside the course. And that has created a lot, you know, big challenge. I did banking and finance. Yeah, yeah. I have to work in a bank. <laughs> you cannot sell killer with it. It's a problem. It's a problem. That's why we have created uh, welfare success and a lot of poverty. What Fesso says is a scam. It's not realistic. It's not true. He lives in that position with all those things that come. But the moment he's sent on retirement, he cannot keep that standard of living. Why? Because he did not create that. He came with a position. That's the kind of things that we, we really respect. So they, there are a lot of myths that we have to break. Because the, the more we have a generation which continue to think, this way, the more pressure that will be on this new generation. But those things are not realistic. They are not going to have a lot of these positions with these things that are coming with it. You know, we are we are growing. The next 10 years, I'm sure Ghana will still be 40 million also. How many businesses are we creating? I mean, the ones that we are creating, not the ones that foreigners are creating, the ones that we are creating ourselves. Even if it's a one job, two jobs, three jobs, that we have the the culture to say that this is what we need really if somebody starts if somebody goes to school and start a business the, the, those kind of people are the ones that we need we are looking for people who can create you know we are looking for people who can think we can we are looking for people who can be resourceful we are looking for people who can create solutions and those are the people that we need in in numbers and those are the people that we want to hold dearly so that kind of shift of thinking we may have to start it from the primary level. From your child who is two years, three years, four years. You have to teach them like that. Not we don't have to raise the politicians, because that's the challenge. If I see all the successful people in our country as politicians and preachers, then why would I want to go through all this stress to build a business? That's no need. And that's the thinking of many people. Now, somebody who even told us that, hey, listen. In Ghana, nobody builds any business, successful business, so, so they will come and destroy it. That's the kind of thinking because of his experiences. He forgets that the times have changed and improved. And if you had a lot of people thinking, like you are not trained to look for jobs, you are trained to create jobs, you are sent to school to come out to create solutions, to solve problems. That is a thinking you must have. But you can't have that thinking if you are not placing the right uh, uh, content in you. You go to the airport, a white t-shirt, and go and meet the pilot. <laughs> go with the pilot and class fighter as a very successful man. A lot of the things that we give so much, you know, we hold so much dearly, they don't change the dynamics of our, of our, of our situation. We hold, we hold a lot of things in, in high esteem in our country that don't change much of the situation for the masses. So we hold dearly such things but what do they impact on us nothing we still have people looking for jobs thinking so they have they would have to be uh, critical thinking in terms of how we are producing people from these schools to say that if you complete school and you don't have a job it doesn't mean that you are you are a disaster so long as you can start to do something with yourself you're not a disaster and nobody has an advantage just, I mean, I don't give myself one year 
give myself 10 to 20 years you have a job i don't have a job you're pursuing something pursue your career and pursuing the business after 5 10 20 years i don't think there will be uh, the one without a job who was able to create something will not be that much uh, disadvantage not at all unless they did not pay attention but in the beginning nobody will respect you so you have to know that in the beginning you'll be talked out of it in the beginning you'll be described your parents will even tell, send people to come and advise you to go and look for a job because they don't know what you're doing with your life you know your professors will come and, and tell you what are you doing with your life after this then maybe go and do PhD and become a lecturer so we are producing people on the other hand and then the development of our country is somewhere else and then we are hoping that one way or the other we develop as a country I'm not sure and so people like yourself complete school you don't have a job it's not a disaster start to think start to plan what can you do what can you do and if you happen to travel somewhere and you are living there and just go and look for a job study the chinese study the indians look at what they do easily start something so the africans will be looking for cleaning jobs <laughs> because we are infatuated with jobs we love it when you do my year that's all when the work is good it's no good so long as you have a job uh, everybody will be happy for you so that's the disadvantage we've been trained like that we are not trained to get resource it's not resource that people are looking for it's not productivity that people are looking for they just want to follow the law once you get a job uh, everybody will be very happy with you it's a problem but you have to diffuse that we have to diffuse that at least uh, among uh, the, the people the young people all those guys coming from Lagos, coming from my university, all these private universities. This is the thing that they have. They are all looking for a job. All of them. They are all looking for a job. Don't know. All of them. Just question any of them and see. They are all looking for a job. They are looking for a job here. Or they are looking to travel to go and look for a job. That's all does not readily come to a lot of us maybe we are the ones who create the jobs maybe we are the ones to create the jobs it doesn't because we are ill-equipped the education they gave us is well equipped and then we also did not train ourselves beyond the education we don't read books we don't train ourselves we don't listen to anything we don't expose ourselves to things like this you know the funny thing about uh, the Ghanaian is that even if he doesn't understand it he will still debate it we are very good at just saying anything on our mind even if it's not informed anything that comes to our head we will just say it we don't have detail we have not studied the subject we have not gone through any data but we still put up an argument that's the Ghanaian you know once you finish especially those that went to school somewhere uh Lagos so or those people so far as they went to school even if they don't understand the subject they will still argue Everything shows that this man does not understand it, but he will still ask a question in English. <laughs> because that's all that he was trained with. And the results prove otherwise. You know, so they are looking for a job everywhere. Child, you have a job for me. And the farms are there. Trading is there. If you engage in thinking and planning, something that we do because most of these guys are coming we cannot continue to have them to think only in terms of jobs dangerous and even when they get the job they are not there they're only waiting for the salary so really it's even i should even say that we are we are trained to look for salaries that's all not even job because they don't even when they work they don't even care about the job they don't even care about getting results no they just want monthly salary that's all that they wait for they don't even, most of them don't even care. Okay, I was hired to do this. Am I doing it? Am I bringing any difference? No. It's the salary that is waiting for. 
and he's very happy even if it doesn't work he doesn't have any remorse being paid for not working no so long as and if you don't pay him disaster is the training is the training the training we were giving and those that we were not giving the after majors the after majors so we've been trained like that to look for job and once you get a job everybody's happy for you la, 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 la. what i do bring any progress no 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 it doesn't matter let's get a job so my name is Obi Dako, and I thank you for watching. My argument today is we are trained for jobs. And uh, there are a lot of thoughts that we have to raise to counteract uh, or to counter those that we were, were, were trained with. You know, go to school, look for a job, take salary, marry, only get a house. It's so basic. And if you continue to have a lot of people to think like that, we cannot develop. We will sit here and the Chinese will come and take over. Because there are people who we can fight with are sleeping. They are the ones, every comedy, they are the ones in front. Everything is a comedy. You look. And if it's a comedy, you get a lot of people pay attention. When it comes to thinking and planning and getting responsibility, uh, down they have opinion. They have opinion. People look and they say that yeah, these guys are sleeping. <laughs> they have so much, but at the same time, they're sleeping. The Kenyans, the Nigerians, the Africans, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. Because we have so much, but the thinking is weak. The thinking is wrong. We're just looking for that which does not exist. Jobs everywhere. And when they get the job, they don't even pay attention. The next minute, they are looking for another job. And they don't like trouble at all. Don't like trouble. They don't like commitment. They don't like to be part of anything. They cannot have stamina. They don't have stamina. Persistence? No, no, no. If it gets little hurt, ah, you see how they are scamming people? You know why they are scamming people? People sending their money to all these places. Because people don't like work they want cheap side i send my money to you pay me 10 percent every year every month because if you have 100 000 200 000 it's good money to start something with it but yet we go and give it to people <laughs> because that's why it's the condition every environment that you are born into has major 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 effect on how you think how you see the world how you process your thoughts the choices that you make the things that you're passionate about the things that from the kind of environment that you're born into. So if you're born in Ghana, all the noise. That's why you have to consciously build an inner strength, inner worldview. You have to stretch yourself, go for proper information so that you can live above this culture. All your results will just be what is in the culture. And they will, they will be responsible for all the frustrations that you go through with your life. Because some people can even commit themselves just to find out one thing. Research. They and we, <laughs> and we, 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 we don't commit to anything. We're just looking for an easy way out. So you're looking for people to grow your money for you without working. It doesn't work. That's right. So extend your mind. Go and read. Go and research. Don't believe so much on, if you look at the social media, you see that these people are lazy. The things that will improve your life, the things that will bring progress, they don't like, they don't read. How many times do you, do you hear people talk about read books, change your life, improve your life, develop skill? No. Just job, go and look for a job. And when you go, go and sleep, they will pay you at the end of the month. Then you go and marry, build a house, or go and get a political position. That's all. See the way we are looking for political position. That's the trouble. It's, because it's coming from the culture. It's coming from the environment. So our argument is self. Self. So that's why if you find yourself where you don't have a job, start to develop the content. Because if you don't change the content, if you can argue and debate with the thoughts that come to you and challenge them and the things that they have told you, what do you call success? What do you call achievement? Those if you don't build the right strength, 
better argument against us. You stay at home for years. You stay at home for years. And yet, it may not be a problem. Or totally a problem because of where you were born, what you've been trained with, how you've been taught. And now it is a big problem. <laughs> now it's a big problem. So thank you uh, for watching. Thank you for watching. And thank everybody who watches this and, and every now and then let us know what we are trying to help. You know, because the content that we have here, if you don't raise another one, people will live in frustration with their lives. Life is not supposed to be you know, that pain, painful. It's not supposed, supposed to be fresh. You know, you don't you don't have to live all, all your life in frustration. If those are there, it means that your argument is weak. It means that you have not built enough argument strength to counteract the popular things that we hear. Because a thousand people will ask you to have a job every day. <laughs> every day they will ask you. Even if you have you are committed to be able to do something, they will always be asking you to have something, to have a job. Meanwhile, you are committed or you are thinking of opening a shop, you are thinking of developing a product, you are thinking of starting a farm somewhere. And that should be your obsession. You are building that. They will not be, they say that, ah, you are a school college man. That is so dangerous. And yet, if you continue to move around to look for those things, you may not be after. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. So build yourself as a young man, as a young woman, have a strong argument. And if you travel somewhere, don't go and look for a job. Create a business. We, are, we have had enough of us going everywhere looking for a job. I think the generation, a time has come that this generation must also go somewhere and start businesses, no matter how little it is. You know, start businesses, become productive, solve, solve, solve problems, get answers. And not be always, we are always the ones waiting for somebody to help us all the time. Yeah? Every time we are the ones there. Oh. <laughs> so thank you very much for, for watching. Thank you.